While the presidential race is getting a lot of attention, there are a lot of local races in November that deserve your attention too. KBU's Luis De Leon tells us about two that will impact the criminal justice system in Travis County. For months, people across the country have taken to the streets to protest against police brutality and how some officer-involved deaths have been handled by the criminal justice system. Let me see your hands on the left! Do not move! Flat on your stomach! Flat on your stomach! Flat on your stomach! And some races on the ballot could make big differences on how cases are dealt with in the future. Travis County is still sort of trying to find what its next stage is, what its identity is going to be with the district attorney. And it's that race where the current Travis County DA, Margaret Moore, lost to Democrat Jose Garza in the July primary runoff by a landslide. Now Garza faces off against Republican Martin Harry, and experts say a lot is at stake in this race. It absolutely can have an impact. The DA is determining whether people are staying locked up while they're awaiting trial, deciding what types of sentences might be appropriate to pursue. And who you vote for could also impact your tax dollars. We have a stake as taxpayers in how city and county resources are spent and um, policing and the criminal justice system is a significant source of, of local spending. Also on the ballot is for Travis County Sheriff, where voters decide between the current sheriff, Sally Hernandez, and her opponent, Republican Raul Vargas. Specifically, the sheriff is involved in the jails. They're involved in providing security in the courts. They provide enforcement activities. But a new topic voters should consider, experts say, is how COVID-19 is handled in the Travis County Jail. There's a very high level of what we call churn. People are going in and out of jails on a daily basis. Just because the individuals who are incarcerated in those facilities can't leave doesn't mean that the virus doesn't leave uh, with the personnel. I think there's going to be an exciting reinvention. Luis DeLeon, KVU News.